So maybe you're kicking around the idea of moving to Detroit. Here's seven things you need to know before you make that move, and I'll save my most important one for the end. What's going on everybody? My name is Ed Butler. I'm with Brookstone Realtors and I make videos just like this one every single week, giving you what it's like to live, work, eat, sleep, and play in Metro Detroit. If you want to see more videos just like this one, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, so you don't miss any of the videos that I put out. I'm also a full-time realtor, so I help people every single month move to Michigan or move within Michigan. If you have any thoughts of making a move, Feel free to contact me. All my information is down below. Call, text, email, whatever is most comfortable for you. I love to have your back in your home buying or selling journey. And with that, let's hop into number seven. So there's a pretty famous song by Journey, Can't Stop Believing It. In that song, they talk about a boy born and raised in South Detroit. Well, I'm here to tell you, here to burst your bubble, that there is no South Detroit. We have about four main areas in Detroit, and they're gonna be broken down to the east side, the west side, downtown, and then southwest Detroit. The east side of Detroit historically has been a little bit more blue collar. The west side historically has been a little bit more white collar, if you could say so. Kind of like a gray collar because nobody from Detroit is really, really white collar. Unless you grew up downtown. If you grew up downtown, then you probably got a white collar family, but we don't know too many of those people. Speaking of which, of downtown, downtown, anything that's midtown, corktown, Lafayette Park, anything, anywhere on Jefferson, we all just consider that downtown and we include it all together. Either we either say it's downtown or we include it with the east side of Detroit. Then Southwest Detroit, that's gonna be a predominantly Hispanic um, demographic. We're gonna end with a little bit of demographics here and there of all different types of culture. So if you're looking to have some great Mexican cuisine, make sure you go ahead and stop in down Southwest Detroit. The next thing on our list we're gonna talk about is something that you may know or may not know, but it's the weather. So if you're gonna move here, you gotta be prepared for any type of weather on any given day. So that means you may wanna keep an umbrella in your car, a shovel in your trunk, and then maybe some sunscreen in the glove box because you really don't know what you're gonna get when you come outside in Michigan for the most part. So maybe seven to eight months out the year, it's pretty chilly. We have a very long winter, pretty short summer, and a, a kind of a blip on the radar that we call spring. So for instance, yesterday I had on what we call my big coat, and today I didn't wear a coat at all. It was 30 degrees yesterday, 50 degrees today, and then next week it'll be around 60 degrees, and then it'll drop right back down into the 30. That's just how much the temperature swings day to day here, and it's just the beginning of March. So make sure if you're moving here, that you're gonna be flexible on the weather, and that you can deal with a little bit of cold because that just comes with the territory. Next is a very popular coin term here in Detroit, that if you're not from Detroit, you may not know what it is, or may not understand how to reply to it. That's gonna be, what up though? What up though became very popular in Detroit's rap scene and then it grew and uh, branched out to all across the nation with the help of you know, Big Sean and some other uh, national superstars. But here in the city is something that we say each and every day to each other. You know, when you're walking through the store or you're walking down the street or something like that and you see, meet somebody face to face and you don't know them or anything like that, it's just a term that we may say just to, you know, put people at ease a little bit and say, you know, what up though? Also, part of that is when you say it, a lot of times you're gonna go ahead and do a, a head nod like that. So it's a, what up though? One of those. If you do a what up though like that with a downwards head nod, that kind of means a totally different thing and you probably don't wanna do that to people that you don't know. So just remember that if you're gonna do it, head up and what up though. Next kind of going in line with, you know, the Detroit what up though is something that's kind of near and dear to my heart. And that's gonna be Detroit versus everybody. Detroit versus everybody is a slogan that was coined by a guy named Tommy Walker. He imprinted it on shirts and sold them. It was something that we really caught on to because it kind of embodies exactly how it feels to be a Detroiter. So Detroit versus everybody embodies that Detroiters feel like it's all of us together versus everybody else who's talked down on us and kicked us while we were down. And we're gonna rise up together. And from where we have been into where we're going, it's light years apart in difference. That's why Detroit is America's comeback city. Heading on to a completely unrelated topic, 
Detroiters, man, we're really serious about our sport. We love our Lions, our Red Wings, our Tigers, our Pistons, and all our teams are symbolic of the city. They have always been kind of hardworking, blue collar teams that we get behind. They may not win a whole ton of a lot, but we always support them in droves, especially the Lions, because they've never won anything, but that's probably the city's favorite team, and we're gonna talk crap about them, but we're not gonna let you do it. Also heading to that, if you're moving here to Michigan, you gotta know that there's two schools that you're gonna have to pick a side that you're gonna root for. That's gonna be Michigan, and that's gonna be Michigan State, and you can't do both. This is a deep rivalry, and if you got a Michigan State fan somewhere, you may not wanna let them know that you're a Michigan fan, because that could affect you pretty negatively, vice versa. So it's almost like politics. Don't talk about sports unless you know you guys are on the same wavelength. Another one talking about is that you're gonna to need to know is that Detroit is a very blue collar town. We were once, and we still feel like we are, the automotive capital of the world. We're home to the big three American-made automakers, Chrysler, GM, and Ford. And they're still the largest employer of all Detroiters. Me personally, I've had three generations of Chrysler auto workers. Other people's families do the same thing with GM or Ford. And we take these things seriously. I wish I would pull up to my mom's house driving a Honda or something like that. They take that stuff pretty personal because cars equal jobs here in the city. And if you're driving a car and not supporting them or one of the big three, and that means you're not supporting them having jobs. So choose wisely if you're gonna be buying a car here or you know, just understand that some people may look at you a little strange if you're driving something that isn't American made here. Fun fact, at these plants, if you even drive a different American made car and you work in one of the plants, you can't park on the premises. So I'll take for instance, like a Chrysler, my mom works. All the Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, and Dodge vehicles all can park on the manufacturing plant grounds. But if you somehow bought a Ford or something else, you gotta walk and park maybe like an entire almost mile away and then find a way to get to work. That's how serious it is. And speaking of rivalry, we have a major rivalry when it comes to public schools here in Detroit too. So there's gonna be what they call another big three. That's gonna be Cass, King, and Renaissance. These three are the top three public high schools in Detroit. Each one requires a test to be taken. Right after your middle school, in the eighth grade, you take the test to see if you can be able to test into King, Cass, or Renaissance. As you can see, I represent the Crusaders of Martin Luther King High School. There's a huge rivalry with these teams, especially for King and Cass. We kind of just let Renaissance do their own thing over there, but King and Cass is definitely a huge rivalry. And you're gonna to wanna to know this type of stuff if you're moving here because these sporting events can get pretty out of hand and people get really passionate about it. Also, if you're living in the city and you wanna get your kid to go to a really good school, then you gotta make sure you research and think about one of these three. There are a ton of other nuances about the city of Detroit and I'll mention those in future videos. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss those videos when I put them out. And as always, my name is Ed Butler. I'm with Brookstone Realtors. If you have any thoughts of moving to Michigan or moving within Michigan, make sure you go ahead and give me a call, text, or email. I love to have your back in your home buying or selling journey. And with that, I'll catch you on the next one.